Hi Virgo, thank you again for joining me, liking, sharing, subscribing. So Virgo, okay, Page of Pentacles, the world, Ace of Pentacles, the Strength card, Eight of Wands and the Devil. Okay, the Devil seems to be following a lot of these signs around this month, so we'll have a look. And we'll see what's happening here but first card we have the page of pentacles virgo now the page of pentacles could be you or another earth sign around you so a fellow virgo a taurus or a capricorn now the page of pentacles is someone that's wanting to make you an offer this could be an offer of money this could be an offer of love i feel as though this idea or this person is placing you on a pedestal or you're placing this idea on a pedestal i should say now um because if you see him here, he's holding up the pentacle and he's staring intently. This could be a prized possession. This could be someone you might have your eye on and you really hold them in really, really high regard. This could be an asset. This could be your bank account. This could be a, a designer handbag. It's something, a possession or a person around you or, you know, money around you that you're really holding very close to you and you're, um, you're feeling very proud of. So this could also be an asset, could be a car, could be a home, um, anything that you can own, you can touch, you can feel, you can experience. So um, Page of Pentacles is um, could also be an offer of finance. So I feel for some of you, you might have been asking for finances. Someone might make you an offer of, um, you know, Oh, it could be an inheritance, it could be a crediting, you know, a creditor, it could be a financial institution here with the Page of Pentacles that's going to make you an offer. Um, I feel like there could be a couple of offers. There could also be renegotiation because you have the Ace of Pentacles. The first offer might not be what you idol, what you intended or what you envisioned, and then the second offer might be more of your liking. So maybe you're selling a property and you're waiting for offers to come in. I might, I find that there will be a couple of offers, and it will be the second one or one that comes later on that's going to be more hefty and more suitable for you. This could also be in jobs as well. You may have been applying for different roles um, and different salaries are coming up. This could be renegotiation, oh, renegotiating of salaries. Um, you know, if you're taking on more work at your job, if you're taking on, you know, more hours, um, penalty rates, um, overtime, etc. So this is also possible. This could also be an earth sign. If this is romantic, there's definitely a young doesn't necessarily have to be young. I just feel as though they have a lot of um, fire and action and adventure associated with them because they're a page. But this earth sign could be making you an offer. There could also be an offer to travel with this person. You might even meet this person and travel. You do have the world card. This is about seeing the world, um, traveling, going on an adventure, going on a trip. This could be an, a paid opportunity to travel. This could be winning an, a competition to travel or, you know, win passes for something. The world card also represents the opening or the creation of a new world, um, the creation of a new relationship, the creation of a new home, of a new life. The world speaks of anything, anything that is within our world, you know, from the, the minutest detail, the minutest atom, I should say, up until, you know, outer space. Let's not get into quantum physics here, but the world card really is something new that's opening up, new doors, new possibilities, new opportunities that, go, that are going to present themselves for you. This could even be an asset that you're thinking about purchasing overseas. It could be a holiday house. Um, it might be a rental property. This could be an Airbnb you might pay for to go overseas and stay at. The world card could mean that you're publishing or putting your work out to the world. There could be something you funded. It could be, you know, a business. It could be, you know, a fitness blog. You know, you do have the strength card here. It could be, um, it doesn't have to be physical strength. It could be mental strength. So it could be a spiritual awakening, a life coaching service you might begin to offer to people and you might put it out there to the world. This is about maybe you've been working on something. You've been writing a book or working on a business or a product or a service that you're going to put out to the world. So that's a, a possibility for you uh, this month. Now, um, 
I feel as though there's a foreign influence to someone here. So I'm not sure if you're liaising with someone from an overseas background, someone that's overseas. There's a lot of communication that's going to happen. There's a strong earth sign or Leo. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo or Leo that you're going to be liaising with. Um, it could be someone that, you know, you, some of you might be in a long distance relationship. Some of you might meet this person on travels and then communicate with each other thereafter. Um, you know, or there's synchronicity that's happening around you. You need to look at what's happening in the world around you because there's signs that are from the universe that are being placed in your path. Um, messages, signs, synchronicity, you know, that you might need to look out for. Obviously, we can't read too in depth into every single sign, but there's ones that are really obvious and ones that will resonate and click and, you know, sort of, you know, spark something inside of you. So that's something you need to pay attention to, um, Virgo. Now, um, you also have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a, a quite a, you know, quite a substantial offer coming up for you. This could be of money. This could be an asset. This could be a new person. This is the hand of God. This is fate, the universe, the gods offering you this asset, this home, this car, this person, this place, this thing, this experience, this money, this um, reward, this salary. And I feel like it's going to be gifted to you. Um, and I think you're going to be very happy. For some reason, I feel like that it's going to be going to be renegotiations because the page, you know, and the ace, I mean, one offer could be more larger than the other. You might take, you might not take the first offer, whether it's the first offer of love, the first offer of, um, the first job offer, the first salary offer, you might want to renegotiate and, um, you know, rethink the terms or something like this. This keeps coming up here with the Ace of Pentacles. There could be a golden opportunity to travel. I definitely feel some of you will meet someone, someone foreign, bilingual, comes from a different culture, comes from a different religion, communicate with each other. Some of you, you're funding your own creative pursuit. Some of you are spending or overindulging here with the Devil card. There's a lot of money. Some of you might be overcoming an addiction, an addiction to something because you do have the strength card. Some of you are just over obsessive or over indulgent in, an, in, in a substance or in a person or something like this. Um, you know, you do have the strength card here. The strength card speaks about needing the strength, needing to have the strength. Could also be a Leo around you. Maybe this person is your rock. Maybe this person is helping you in some way, offering you advice, solace, guidance. Maybe this is, you know, this could also be physical fitness. Some of you might, um, you know, be addicted to food, you know, be addicted to an unhealthy lifestyle and you might spend quite a bit of money searching for the right personal trainer or life coach or, you know, yoga instructor or something like this, someone that's going to help you, um, you know, create that physical strength, mental strength, emotional strength. It could be a psychologist, a personal trainer, a spiritual healer, whatever it is. This could be a person you'll be consulting this month with the strength card. This could also be that you're trying to improve your fitness, working on your strength, um, being outdoors, working with animals. If this is a Leo you're dealing with, I feel as though you'll be receiving a lot of attention and affection from this person and you're going to really like it, like really like it. So that's nice to see. That's kind of exciting. But the strength card is also needing to have the strength and the patience to watch what else comes along. So, you know, that could mean a lot of things to different people, but keep that in mind. Um, patience. Patience is needed. Um, some of you are creating this new world you know, aspiring for this new job or this perfect salary. Um, but patience is needed here with the strength card. You need to be resilient. And this is important, Virgo. Because there's definitely news either coming in from someone foreign or coming in from someone you, you know, are clinging to or attached to or obsessed with or want to, you know, want to end up like this with. <laughs> so this is also possible. Synchronicity, this is signs. Signs are coming through here. 
The eight of wands speak, speak about, you know, communication, action, movement, development. There could be several trips you might be taking. It doesn't necessarily have to be overseas. This could be someone from a foreign background or, you know, a company or a division of a company that's getting in touch with you from overseas. You could have a lot of um, clients or customers if you've got a blog of some kind or you're in the finance division. The eight, of pent uh, the eight of Wands speak about this movement and action and synchronicity. I also feel like there's a lot of steps. So some of you might be signing up to like a, an eight, a seven, eight, ten step program for fitness or for spirituality maybe. Um, for some of you, I feel like there's a lot of documents, things still need to be provided to get that loan or to get that go ahead to travel or to take that time off. Maybe it's a visa application you've been applying for. Um, I feel like you're completing the steps, but there's still more that needs to be taken with the Eight of Wands, or it's synchronicity that's coming into play here. You need to pay attention to the signs that are around you. Um, I feel like if this is in a romantic sense, some of you will be receiving signs that this person is for you. Um, this person will idolize you. They'll be well-traveled. They'll want to travel. They'll be very well-cultured. Um, and I feel like you're going to read the signs and you're going to know this person is for you or it's the person, you know, that's showing up in the cards here. A lot of communication though with a fire sign or an earth sign. Back and forth, back and forth. Could be for work. But hang in there. Um... Try and maintain that communication because something is going to come of it. There's something physical, a move, a change, an offer is going to come from this, um, you know, liaising with this person or whatever it is that you're doing. Now, you do have the devil card as well. The devil card in romantic situation can indicate there's an addiction, there's an overindulgence, there's an addiction to sex, manipulation, control maybe, someone being obsessed maybe, one of the parties of the relationship being obsessed. Or this could be a strong Capricorn that's around you. Maybe this is the strong Capricorn that's a personal trainer that you're going to meet overseas or online and then you're going to get talking. Whether it is romantic, it develops into something romantic or this person gives you guidance and solace and strength or helps you in one way. This could also be um, someone at work, someone that you're going to be linked up with, someone that you're going to have to team up with at work. See how they're chained together. You might not necessarily get involved with them, but it's about having the strength and the resilience because something is going to come of it. So you have to sort of persevere. This could also be your energy. This could be a collaboration. This could also be affairs. It could be affairs at work. It could be having an affair with your personal trainer, having an affair with someone at work, some you know, flirting, something that's taboo with the devil. The devil is sort of taboo. It's not the norm, something unusual, something a bit secret maybe might be going on. You could have secret lovers, secret admirers. This is also a possibility, most definitely. So concentrating on your strength, reading the signs, lots of communication with different people. Someone might reach out and communicate with you. This could be someone far enough from a different um, background to yours. There could be communication about travels. You might even meet someone on travels um, and develop a physical or an intimate relationship with this person as well. Um, or you might just get, you might be really overindulgent in travels, like drinking too much, eating too much, letting, you know, letting yourself go a little bit, not watching what you eat, spending a lot of money, spending too much than intended. So that's also possible. So just watch your finances and make sure you don't overindulge here, Virgo. This is a possibility, but, um, I feel like something to do with these offers. I think there's going to be several offers and you need to pick which one is best. But I think you'll know. Sort of you'll know which one to choose when the time comes. So it's all about your judgment, I feel. But um, all in all, I hope this has been insightful for you.